When the holidays get closer, it gets a little bit more hectic in the kitchen, and folks like to try new dishes. And if you've never had a brine turkey before, I highly recommend it. We've got a delicious cider turkey going with a side of wild mushroom green bean casserole. The first thing we need to make, of course, is our brine. So in a large pot, go ahead and boil together some apple cider, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, some chopped up onions, a lot more seasonings, salt and sugars. And while it is coming to a boil, what we want to do is wash off our whole bone-in turkey breast. We're going to go ahead and lay it in a large plastic bag. And before we put this brine on, it needs to be completely cooled. So go ahead and dump it on there. We're going to add in some ice cubes, toss it in the refrigerator, and I'll see you tomorrow morning because you know what? This thing needs to brine all night long. Welcome back to day two of brining turkey. What we want to do is completely remove this turkey from the bag, discard any of the brine. We want to wash it off well. We also want to pat it dry. Next, we're going to chop up some onion, celery, and carrots. We're going to put it in a pan with a roasting rack. We're going to spread it all around along with some fresh herbs. Also pour in a little chicken stock so we can make a great gravy after this. Now, we want to rub this turkey on all sides with a little bit of butter and lightly season on all sides with salt and pepper. Go ahead and put it breast side down right in that roasting rack surrounded by all those veggies. It's going in the oven on 375 degrees. It's gonna take about an hour to an hour and a half. We're gonna come back. We're actually gonna flip that bird right over so it's breast side up. We're gonna finish cooking it for another hour or so till it gets nice and golden brown. And when we flip it, that's when we're gonna get started on our green bean casserole. First, we're gonna trim up some green beans. We're gonna slice up some baby portobello mushrooms. We're gonna prepare some pearl onions. Next, we're going to slice up some bacon, and in a hot cast iron skillet, we're going to cook the bacon till it's nice and crispy. We're going to remove that once they are cooked. In that bacon fat, let's go ahead and roast off those mushrooms, those onions. Once caramelized, we're going to add in the green beans. Next, we're going to put the bacon back in. We're going to saute that for three to four minutes. We're going to deglaze with some cream. We want to get this nice and thick. Once it is thick, you could do two things at this point. You could either put it to a souffle dish or leave it right in that cast iron skillet, top it off with some panko breadcrumbs, throw it in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. The green beans should be done at the same time as the turkey. We're gonna take them out of the oven. We're gonna make a really simple pan gravy. Go ahead and strain all the juices out of the bottom of that turkey pan. Put them in a small sauce pot. We're gonna make a quick roux, equal parts butter and flour. Once it is mixed together, set it to the side. Go ahead and bring those turkey drippings to a boil. Once it is boiling, simply whisk in a little bit of that roux to get it nice and thick. We're gonna finish it with salt, pepper, fresh sage, thyme, and it's time to eat. Once you've had brine turkey, you'll never cook it any other way. All those great juices inside of the cider brine infused give you all that flavor and that turkey is delicious. The green bean casserole is fantastic and the turkey gravy, you are absolutely gonna love it. I clearly have a feast. I'm gonna start eating. We'll see you next time.